the outcome of an election often is determined by what happens in the last few days of the campaign. And as the Karnataka political league enters its last phase, what could change in the last two weeks? To talk about this and more, we are joined at the India Today Karnataka Roundtable by two young firebrand leaders of the Bharatiya Janta Party and the Congress. Please join me in welcoming to Bengaluru, uh, Tejasvi Surya and Dinesh Gundurao. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us and terrific to have you with us at this roundtable. I want to start by asking Tejasvi Surya about the state of play at this moment. Oftentimes, in elections in Assam, Tripura, Gujarat, the BJP team seemed very confident going into the last several days. They had a certain amount of momentum riding. If this was cricket, would you accept that the asking rate is now very high and that while the BJP still thinks it has a chance, you are basically depending on your pinch hitter, impact player Narendra Modi to come in and do the work which the local Karnataka team so far has failed to do. Good evening, Rahul. Um, I don't know why you have not been able to see our confidence. Because wherever I go, and I have completed traveling to almost 50% of the uh, assembly constituencies uh, in all important regions of Karnataka, I see a very palpable enthusiasm among our cadre, and especially among the general public and the voter, uh, he has a very silent uh, approach towards the election. It doesn't mean that the whole uh, electioneering is not uh, enthusiastic. The um, general public and the voter has already made his decision. He has made his choices. And he's just waiting for the 10th of May to only go and express it. So I think in, seen in that context, uh, uh, we are very confident of a victory. And to use your cricketing parlance, I would only say this, we have been performing very well. And in the last uh, slog overs, uh, we are waiting for the best batsmen to come and hit the sixers. Yeah, but you don't want it to become like a Rinku Singh-like situation, right? Where poor Modi has to hit five sixes or five balls. But, Mr. Gundurao, I want to ask you about the Congress's famous ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Is that something that concerns you, that the match is well poised at this moment? It's tight with you arguably slightly in the lead. But A, Rinku Singh, the big hitter is still coming. And that possibility that the, Cong uh, the BJP in the last overs could ram through the Congress's defences. Uh, Rahul, uh, as far as the pinch hitter goes, he's already been active in this state. So he's been more or less the opening batsman, the middle order batsman, and the, uh, also the pinch hitter. Because uh, the situation in the state is, is that there's nothing for the people to really want this government to come back. There is no enthusiasm to say that let's get this government back. They have done a good job. This is a sector which they have performed very well on. They've given good governance. They have reduced corruption. There's no selling point. So they, they tried to make this election the usual BJP strategy of making it Hindu versus Muslim, take up issues which are really unconcerned with development. In fact, their party president also very clearly openly said, why talk about development, talk about Savarkar, talk, talk about uh, hijab. So that was a game plan. Like what you said earlier, that we have the ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. I think if you look at the present situation, we have done tremendously well in our campaign. We have focused on the issues that really matter. Uh, our ticket distribution has gone well. Our, there's no uh, rebellion. There's no hardly any dissidents. And the entire cadre enthusiasm is so high that there's a huge energy within the party today. And there's a confidence that we're going to come back to power. So we so had the Home Minister I think that this is going to be a very good election for the Congress. Table, and he made an important point, which is that it doesn't matter so much what you see at the surface. Much deeper in society, he says, the BJP has been able to build up a formidable vote bank of the Labharthis. He said that it's not just about caste. Elections, to some extent, is moving beyond caste. The poor themselves are a caste. And we've given them houses, we've given them roads, we've given them so many different facilities that they will stay with us regardless of what you're seeing on the surface. Then why did they lose Himachal Pradesh? 
Why did they lose Punjab? Why did they lose so many states I can talk about where BJP have uh, been uh, defeated very badly? So this is just a perception that they built, that we've built houses, we've built roads. This has been, be been being built for the last 70 years. Nobody is going to say that there was no development before Modi came and everything is happening since then. But on the ground, if you look at the issues, what is the BJP trying to tell people today? That we that we have given a good government, nobody is going to believe it. We reduce corruption, nobody is going to believe it. Because you go anywhere today, the perception is, and that's reality also, that corruption went skyrocketing. So they just see the difference and between 2018 and now is that that time Mr. Gundu Rao and his party were in government and the BJP could say give double engine an opportunity and see the magic that we can do. Now people have seen whatever magic there was in the past four and a half years and the Congress says has corruption come down or has it gone up? Have you actually benefited versus how things were under the Congress? So the, the lure of the double engine has now been tried out. Does that then diminish the prospects of the electoral dividend the double engine could yield? Rahul, all across the state, whether it is infrastructure, whether it's public health, education, farmer welfare, you name the area of administration, there has been unprecedented achievements that this government has done over the last three years. And the people, and this is not a matter of perception, this is a matter of reality. I'll just give an example as a lay Bangalorean. When Siddharamaya was the chief minister and the prime minister Narendra Modi was in the center in 2017, 18, 16 as well, the pace of metro construction was a paltry, uh, 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 was extremely slow. In 2014, the total metro connectivity in Bangalore was only 7 kilometers. Today, we are at 70 kilometers. By the end of next year, we would have crossed 100. This is not a matter of perception, it's reality. We see people traveling in metro today. 2019, the Prime Minister comes, lays the foundation stone for the uh, uh, Terminal 2 of the International Airport, despite two years of COVID, 2022, year end, it's thrown open for public. It's reality. More than 50 lakh farmers in the state have got Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, 10,000 rupees. Okay. 6,000 from the center, 4,000 from the government. In just my own Lok Sabha constituency, more than 13,000 houses under the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana have been built. So, this is this, so now, are you, try, are you trying to tell that the man or the family which has got a roof on their head for the very first time is living in a world of perception and a lot of a world of reality? Dinesh, Dinesh, some of these big ticket projects like the Bengaluru Mysuru Highway, the metro that they just was talking about are the big ticket achievements of the government and the government can claim with some justification that having a favorable government in Delhi does speed up development in the state. That itself is a wrong uh, perception and a, and a wrong way of talking uh, Rahul because it should not matter which state is, power, uh, is in power in Delhi or the, or the state. Just because BJP is in power, if they're, trying to, if they're going to tell that if you don't elect BJP in Karnataka, we won't fund you or we won't give you enough projects, it, that itself is anti-democratic. A central government should be equal to idea. all states. And in fact, Karnataka has suffered a lot in terms of our devolution of funds. The recent Finance Commission report has reduced the devolution to Karnataka by 1%. And that 1% translates into tens of thousands of crores. And there's not a word mentioned by a single member of parliament uh, to discuss the loss that Karnataka is suffering, when we give one, one rupee to uh, Delhi, we've get, we receive about 40 paisa back. And that is, that is reduced. So, none of them even speak out because they're, they're so scared to speak out and fight for so the rights of Karnataka. Just with this idea that the double engine so Sarkar has, you think that idea is fundamentally yes. flawed, you can't discriminate. It's, it's, it's a good thing that Dinesh ji brought this issue up. And uh, the spin that he has tried to give, unfortunately, does not hold water. The reason is, it's not the central government that is trying to discriminate, but it's the state governments which show of a different political complexion, which show a lack of interest in implementing the central government schemes. I want Mr. Dinesh Gundurav to answer as to why the same scheme, the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, had only a few hundred beneficiaries which were selected by the state government when Mr. Sidramaya was the chief minister. Why is it that under Yadurappa and Bommai, the number grows to a few lakhs? 
No, whose responsibility is it don't to identify the house, uh, who's num- who's because no, no, sir, the, the the samman yojane no, 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 came second, in sir. in the last no, year no, no. of mr sidramaya's government in but, fact no, we no, had no, second, in, in his last let budget us, let me let what me, is let the case with ayushman bharat you are misleading what is the, the house with, you are misleading sir, the house i did not intervene i, was, I, I did not interrupt no, but you don't mislead the house sir you are the one who was misleading the scheme wasn't even there when mr sidramaya was there So why are you the telling scheme, that the scheme was launched? Let me tell you one thing. Way before I am sorry. The, the, I am the, sorry. I was a member of the assembly in power. the last budget. Sir, if you, I the, heard you very well. In the last, take I, another I, scheme. Okay, what me, about Ayushman let, Bharat? Let me talk why about this. Why were the number of registrations so low when Sidramaya was the chief? You know, this good thing. Why has it been? Oh, one second. Okay, can I just say something? Because for a long time, let me clarify. It looked like the Karnataka election was a bit thunder. At least now there is some heat in the election. No, let me clarify this. Which is good. Also, which is good. So bring it on. I need to call out on his lie. Yeah. Because. I tell you, I tell you why he's lying. I tell you why he's misleading the house. Yeah. In the last budget of Mr. Sidra Maya, we came out with a similar scheme that we should pay directly to the farmers because this was first initiated in Telangana. That was the first state right, which, sir. Which, start, which started this scheme of giving directly to the farmer. We copied that scheme, and in the last budget, we said we are going to come out with a similar scheme. Subsequently, our government went, and then next, uh, Mr. Modi came, and then it was announced, and then it was slowly implemented. So now, why is he saying that why didn't we implement when it was not even announced? So these kind of and he, he spoke about the metro. Metro has been going on. Dr. Manmohan Singh was the person who laid the foundation, and the work has been going on. It was and, it went and, on and, and, and on and I'm on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On infrastructure, there is more purpose now. I am say I'm sorry. We built the Hosur flyover. We built the Ashwinpur. You go to any roads which uh, go out of Bangalore. You go to Ashwinpur road. It was built by Congress. Go to Hosur road where he, part of his concerns is built by Congress. The one which goes towards the international airport is built by Congress. Everything has been built by Congress there. So you can't take one project and say that this is what we have done. And the BJP has got the ability. I I'll appreciate them also. They have to make to market an issue very well. There have been no, so many good things no, done by every I... political party, including BJP. I'm not saying they're not. They have done nothing. But there's no real selling point in terms of governance. there's no people are not happy with this government okay so respond and to this sense that clear. what is the usp of this government don't now, don't refer to prime minister modi no, in karnataka you. what is the usp because the prime minister is in delhi what have you done here we have solved legacy problems that was plaguing this state take irrigation for mat- for that matter why the double engine government matters the upper bhadra project it was pending from a few decades now it has got life and the union budget has uh, allocated 5400 crores the state government has uh, started it on a mission mode irrigation projects like mahadai it has got a, a new lease of life thanks to this government if you speak about the big infrastructure projects just for bangalore from 40 years they have sat on the file of the suburban rail project the prime minister comes to bangalore and promises to complete the suburban rail for bangalore in 40 months which has been pending for past 40 years in the same way the strr another very big ticket infrastructure project for the city has been pending from so many decades they have sat on the file literally now the now just go outside of devanhalli and you will see the strr work in full swing if whether you take and all of these legacy issues social justice from almost a few decades people belonging to the sc st community were demanding internal reservations in the state and they did not touch it they did not want to address that issue at all today the party has ensured the government has ensured social justice for the marginalized in terms of extending the uh, umbrella of reservations to the weakest and the poorest whether it is social justice whether it is solving legacy problems related to even agriculture or irrigation and most importantly delivery of governance today in my own city of bengaluru rahul you will find 1 crore plus people who are directly or indirectly beneficiaries of one or the other prime minister schemes again you are speaking prime minister prime minister the, what have the, you done every rahul, example you give the prime minister them. schemes yeah. will be implemented in thin air it does it get implemented in vacuum it should be implemented with a proactive state government so the prime ministers pradhan mantri uh, 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 the uh, street uh, vendors uh, uh, loan program the swanidhi yojana who implements it the state government implements the fear, it the fear mr gundurao so, is that no, no, if no, no, the congress let me, complete, yeah. let me complete this what the congress is dissatisfied is that the government has delivered other than their hit and run allegation that this is a 40% government they have no allegation to make because they have not approached any court of law 
they have not approached any agency okay they do not have any documents mr rao the fear so is that if the congress were to come to power at this and moment, dissatisfied which they are trying to uh, um, allege on us they have nothing else to showcase to people they are going with a very cynical campaign to the at people this while moment, we are going with a very positive rao, campaign to the people your party is in power in chatisgarh rajasthan and himachal the fear is that if you win in a state as big as karnataka that this could become the cash cow of the congress for 2024 you not being able to generate funds elsewhere and therefore the level of pol- political corruption could go up because this is where the money for the next elections will come from after the record of political corruption in this government i don't think any state government can beat the bjp on corruption in any state in this country he is talking about uh, 40% commission being an allegation of the congress party i'm sorry it's not an allegation of the congress party it is an allegation made by the contractors of karnataka who wrote a letter to the prime minister and he didn't do anything about it and they went to the uh, uh, don't disturb me don't disturb me what is the relationship don't come in the way mr Tejas. Let, me finish, let, let me finish, finish. Let, me finish. Let, me finish. let me finish then uh, they went to the streets that's an association they went to the streets there was no response contractors committed suicide wrote suicide notes saying that extortion is so high nothing happened then you had uh, uh one of the ministers their own party people mr yatnal mr uh, gulati shekhar so many other mlas making allegations against their own government that this corruption is gone sky high in this government then you had mr virupakshappa his son caught red hand with some 20 25 30 crores i don't know what was the amount you had so many instances of corruption and today it's a talk of the town you know nobody can deny that corruption has become an issue in the state and not because of the congress it's because this government was formed on the genesis of corruption they formed a government based on defections based on buying out mla spending crores hundreds of crores of rupees so they had to recoup they had to make the money back so this government fundamentally was based on corruption the formation of the government was based on corruption all these multiple so, corruption charges while you can deny them in individual bits right would you accept that a the general sense that there is no smoke unless there is some fire and b Rahul, as far as the mahol or the narrative is concerned who, who who is making this corruption allegation your own the party Congress people party. your own Which, party people oh, sir, the, you may see you may see yatnal who is a candidate you. now he has made sir, I allegations you. i allowed you to your mtp narrative minister is saying let him the, the, the mtp narrative minister congress party he was saying, both former national presidents are out on bail on corruption charges they are making an allegation your mr edurappa what is the, he doing the what is your mr what is edurappa on please refer to the court judge what is mr ah you so please, please refer to let's the not get into those details tejas as surya as today both rahul gandhi and both and your prime minister is praising mr on corruption you are praising mr edurappa who is dk shivkumar is out on responsible for the death of own political party work charges and they make allegations on corruption against the bjp and when they were in power what did they do you are in power now don't talk about our government destroyed systematically and deliberately the anti corruption body which was the lokayukta it went to the supreme court and the high court the high court said what the the whole dismantling exercise of the uh, uh, acb and uh, lokayukta your government challenged the ACB. that your government in the high court See, of because course. it was an unconstitutional their government exercise. didn't do the law no. their government so, didn't take so out the acb this, the, it was the, the court which took out the acb they can't take credit for this a false they can't unconstitutional agency just to just to make sure and in gujarat sure there is no local the there is no acb there is nothing there. toothless no, but your so your party, argument in the high court no, so was that you were in agreement with what yeah, they were doing absolutely you, not absolutely that's not that's the argument you no. didn't want the lokayuk to come back no, we no, just no, had the lokayuk general uh, lokayuk uh, justice patil this morning he told rahul, me you're right rahul they are not the reason rahul, why the lokayuk has come the police has come back to the lokayuk so if I anything good co- happens it is no, because of the court not your credit if anything good happen bad happens it is because of the bjp no but not to your credit no, mr rao mr happens where, where the bjp your credit during rajiv gandhi not to your credit no but where you don't claim credit for that no but where the bjp does get some credit is that they didn't challenge it in the supreme court when the high court order went against they could have challenged it in the supreme court they could have just passed an order executive order saying that we no, don't want acb okay now tell don't me don't give it back to lokayuk why why talk now, about the courts one of the other concerns from the congress's perspective is that you've got dk shivkumar and siddaramaiya who this morning when they came to the conclave were giving each other you know this congress symbol which they were putting on each other uh, or maybe a snooping device or a snooping device he says maybe dk put a snooping device what he hopes <laughs> that they split up unfortunately that's not happening but behind the cameras there is very clearly a tussle no matter what happens in front of the cameras see they are rahul they are two big leaders and in in politics everybody has got aspirations who right? is the bigger leader 
both are good leaders, both are tall leaders. Sidrama has been a chief minister. In fact, one of our selling points to the people is the government which Mr. Sidrama gave was a good government. It was a government which delivered a lot of programs for the people and Karnataka saw development. Karnataka had good times during Sidrama's government. Who will be our chief minister if you win? So that will be decided by our legislature party. Who do you think more MLAs are likely to back? See, no, I can't make those comments on, on public television, right? Let the results come. So once we go in the but corner, I, you can tell all us. All I can tell you is… Once we go out, you can tell us. I can tell you. I will <laughs> definitely tell you. But all I can tell you is, people… For the last one well, year… Well, you won't have that problem for, at all. Because they will anyway not come to government. For the last one who, year… Who is your chief minister? Rahul, candidate? for the last one year… Who is your chief minister candidate? We have Mr. Bumai who is our he, chief minister. No, because… It he is our chief minister candidate? He, no, he, I don't think so. Nobody… They have never even told this anywhere. No, why do you have to uh, They haven't say told this anywhere. Uh, in fact, Mr. Bomba is reduced to a caricature. It was only Mr. Edurapa everywhere. Bomba was not even being called. He's no, are you chief sure minister? Mr. Bomba will be the chief minister if the BJP he, wins again? 100% he's our chief minister? He's, he, he's our chief minister you today. You are confused. He's chief he's minister not. tomorrow. We are not confused. On what basis he is saying, I do not know. Because till today, they have not said... You don't worry Mr. about Bomba. our party's chief minister. I'm telling you what your leaders are saying in public. Oh, I'm telling you what you did, and you BJP has been trying to split our party by saying that Edurup, I mean uh, Sidramaya versus DK. But anyone can become chief minister. It depends upon the support of the MLAs, and ultimately the leadership will take a stand. But we've got many potential CM candidates, and in uh, BJP, I do not know who will be the chief minister. Now, because one of the other things from the Congress don't seem perspective, to be Mr. Gundu Rao, is that so far you've kept it as a localized campaign. But Rahul Gandhi, I'm told, is coming tomorrow and he's coming again and again. Yeah. You're also laughing. Why are you laughing? No, you are not allowed to I laugh. Know, I know. I cannot. I, I know Why are you laughing? Heading. No, no, you heading. can't laugh. No, my concern I is. I know where you're heading. As, no, you also see, you also know, <laughs> he also knows what the problem is, Rahul. You can't be allowed to say this. No, but the point is, as he comes in the campaign and as he speaks and speaks every day, are you concerned that then he could give some opportunity like he did in the UK when he went and spoke about foreign interference in India's affairs, that he'll create something which will then become a problem in the slog over See, field. Rahul Gandhi is our leader. He'll be coming for the campaign. Priyanka Gandhi will be coming. Kharge Saab will be coming. So many other leaders will be coming. They'll all be part of the campaign in Karnataka. And each one has got a, a role to play. And definitely they will enthuse uh, our voters, our cadre. And, uh, I am sure that that is going to add impetus to our campaign. I have no doubts about, Tejashi, doubt about it. One of the facts of this campaign is that the BJP so far seems to have been unable to seize the narrative. Everything that you've tried has, for some reason or the other, not fired the way you would have wanted. Even, for example, taking away 4% reservation, giving it 2% to Lingayats, 2% to Vokal Ligas. Ordinarily, one would have thought that would have helped you in the election. But then the courts have kind of put a hold on it. Right? And then the whole Nandini issue happened, the Viru Pakshipa issue happened. It looks like the gods are conspiring against your party in this election. All the, all the balls seem to be landing against you. And aapka jo chakka maanne ki koshi se, you know, nothing that, that ball is not connecting. Rahul, the narrative is very simple. The last three and a half years, the party-led government has delivered effective governance. People have realized the importance of having a double-engine government. It has made a positive impact in their lives. And this is not a matter of perception. People are seeing infrastructure projects being built and inaugurated. People are talking seeing about the narrative. What Just is narrative? Mahal. What is narrative? Mahal. Are Mahal to TRP me, TV channels me bante Rahul, but politics is decided at the booth. The person who has felt and who is a labharti of the government schemes, he decides it. You think people make a voting call just watching television channels? A person who has got 10,000 rupees in his bank account, as a poor farmer who is struggling to make his ends meet, do you think he will watch your TV channel Mr. debate and decide This is another vote? big challenge. The fact and that you are up second, against… Yeah. Not just that. You take any part of Karnataka. I was in Gulbarga recently, Kalburgi, which is one of the constituencies held by Mr. Kharge, who he was mentioning. The whole coverage of drinking water scheme from 1947 to 2019 in 60, 70 years was 16% of households. And 2019 to 2023, it is up to 63% of households. So you, say, you, 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 you mean to say that the woman in whose household for the very first time there is a tap water connection, she is a beneficiary of that, for the very first time in 70 years, 
you think she is going to watch a tv debate and decide who she is going to vote now, for one of the big challenges from the congress's perspective mr rao is that you are up against the most formidable election machine modern india has seen and the bjp's booth management the micro management getting into each seat each region those powers are far superior to the congress and therefore there really needs to be a massive wave against the current government for you to be able to cross the finishing line would you accept that in a tight election it's advantage bjp see firstly bjp in karnataka for the state assembly elections they have never won it they have never got a majority till today today they are facing anti incumbency our machinery in the state across karnataka they are weak in many districts we are strong in all districts in all talukas our organization is there our preparation is far better our campaign has been far better than theirs we are more focused they are facing huge anti incumbency like you said corruption recruitment scams bad governance there and no leadership actually speaking the only leader they have is he is retired now so they have, they have a non playing captain actually so we are focused our cadre is focused our preparation is better we have announced our schemes we have announced our guarantee programs which we which we have already reached to each and every household and our communication has been far clearer our social media has been very good so maybe in some other elections in some other states bjp may have done better than us but in karnataka as of today we are ahead of them in all aspects now and one of the reality is we are very confident on that issue this whole congress guarantee that he spoke about the electorate of karnataka is a very aware electorate an educated electorate they are aware that the guarantees proposed by the congress they proposed something very similar in rajasthan not delivered something very similar in himachal not delivered yet punjab, something I mean, punjab not delivered in all the five years chatisgarh they didn't do anything so the people wherever i go and we speak about the congress guarantee people say very candidly congress wapas baro dene guarantee illa in congress guarantee en unta meaning there is no guarantee that the congress will come to power then what guarantee is it that what guarantee is there for congress's guarantee so you know the proposition that the congress is making to the people is not being taken very seriously by the people of karnataka because the congress party has lost the very first essential trait that a political party would needs that is credibility what, you... the congress's credibility is zero and because of that anything that they say whether it's an allegation of corruption whether it is a promise of a delivery of governance none of that is sticking because of their zero you know, credibility in... states like uttar pradesh and elsewhere the congress is a very weakened force organizationally mr rao makes the point that karnataka is not uttar pradesh would you accept a that they are much stronger here than they are elsewhere and so far they haven't scored too many self goals which again is very surprising for the congress but they haven't scored so many self goals so far well i i uh, admit that say in comparison to states where uh, in the say uttar pradesh or uh, um, important uh, states in the north of india i do admit that the congress party is organizationally in a better position in karnataka however in uttar pradesh they are in the icu ward here they are in the emergency ward so in relative comparison to what they are in uttar pradesh they are a shade better in karnataka but that is not going to help them win the election and what ward are you in we are not in the hospital at all we are giving rather ayushman bharat cards to people because we are the most healthiest political party in government karna in rahul we are coming back to power with a full majority he says you are in the emergency ward <laughs> if you listen to tejas surya then congress shouldn't even be fighting this election he says we have zero credibility we are in the icu and then I, i don't know why they should call modi so many times modi should be doing some other work no or amit shah should be doing some other work why is he coming here every other day so it shows the panic which they actually have inside no, but he campaigns everywhere even no, in no, municipal no. elections he campaigns at least they have a batsman who no, potentially saying, can change the no, outcome no, of a match what i'm saying rahul is that if he thinks that we are nowhere in the picture then i think it should be a cake walk for them right man to man the number one most popular leader in karnataka today is sidramayya our leaders are much in you take the comparison between karnataka congress leaders and bjp leaders half of them have either been retired forced to retire and i don't understand the logic they are removing one fellow and giving their wife removing one fellow and giving their son 
and then some people who actually deserve, like some of Mr. Anand Kumar, whose wife actually deserves a seat, has been denied. So this whole perception of the high command controlling everything today in BJP, these people are voiceless. That's the problem with this double engine government. Our MPs don't talk. These people can't go and tell Mr. Amit Shah or Mr. Modi that Karnataka is suffering because if the minute they open their mouths, they're told to shut up. That this perception so, that this double engine, engine, Luru double is engine from actually is no, a, but no, but once again, no, 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 let me no, finish. No, no, let me finish. Let me finish. No, no, once again, once Double engine is amazing to hear a Congress see. Double engine speak actually about, is a speak is, about is, is high a command culture. Problem for us. Because the, they can't talk. You know, the, because there's one party in the country which I, has. I'll, I'll give an example. Which gets Nirmala for Sitaraman, introducing this innovation report, of high command. It's the Congress party. The no, but, 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 no, but, 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 No, the, the fact. The way Rajiv Gandhi no. removed Ra Virendra Patil unceremoniously at the airport. We have suffered for that, it. That. That is suffered. high command culture. That's a different culture. issue. The way Sitaram Kesri Today the way you removed Mr. Edurapa. But look at the number of times. No, no, no. Look at the number of times. True, true. But look at the number of times. That's the Congress's high command culture. It's amazing. We are more democratic than you by the far. No, but Tejasvi. Look at the number of times. Congress is democratic is what he's saying. It's amazing that he's believe in democracy. Sir, RSS doesn't believe in democracy. Sir, look at the number of times. It's why we fought against the emergency while you imposed the emergency. That's why I never fought against the British. That's why I never fought for independence. That's why but look at the that. number of times Mr. Yadurappa or after that Mr. Bomai couldn't take a decision because they were waiting for Delhi to tell them whether it's a cabinet expansion I and they were on record saying that I'm talking to Delhi. So this perception Rahul, that he's talking about thing. that Bengaluru is run from Delhi. Including Mr. Rahul. Surya, everybody knows whenever Rahul. Karnataka has been denied by the centre on tax or funds, on special grants, on uh, relief fund for whatever purpose, there's not been a single MP going and raising a voice it's, for Karnataka. It's, it's just incredible how the Congress party has and decided to run the whole of its campaign just and based on lies. They are voiceless. And this is one very important lie that he has mentioned twice in this debate and I need 30 seconds to bust it. This whole charge that the state government's tax devolution has reduced under the Prime Minister's leadership. Not leadership. I want, the Finance please, Commission no, 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 has please, reduced please, please. Hang on, hang on, our uh, devolution of funds. Sir, one second, and we are please. losing our... Tens of thousands of crores. In 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 twenty four. He's looking for some research. No, 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 he can't find it. Give him some time. Let him find it. Two thousand. Take a moment. Find it. It's and that's, I, I that's a fact. Tw please, you can't deny please, the fact, please. Mr. Gunraf. Two thousand nine to two thousand fourteen, when you were in power. Don't give me numbers now. Sir. Why? Don't confuse me. So data. when you can you say have, the devolution has come down. But the when I want to give numbers, you say you don't have, give numbers. You have reduced the devolution. So two two thousand nine. Absolutely. Do you agree or not? 2009 to 2000, not. absolutely not. You want to take a bet? 100 percent. Bet right here. Percentage of devolution to Karnataka impossible. has gone down. 2009 to 2000. You have lost the bet. The Mr. Zuriya. amount of because so you are the judge. What you're is that? The jury or what, what, what the is the bet? Like what? One, one, second, one Nandini Lassi or something? Rahul. I don't know. What's and the bet? Finish of Nandini also. He can't have Nandini See, Lassi. See, this is again another. So he wants to have Nandini Lassi. They want to take over Nandini, they want to take over the uh, state resources. No, but that was please, that please, was please, mischievous please. on your no, part. No, no, Rahul, no, one second. You are not they allowed never to said, make this point. Please, please. Yeah. 2009 to 2014, with UP at the center, the budget allocated for Karnataka's no, development was 94,000. Talking about a percent, you're giving an actual number. 94,224 crore. Between 2014 and 2019, it is increased to 2 lakh 26,000 crore. Every year. 2,26,000 crore. And here is Mr. Dinesh Gundura who is going on and on then record, lying multiple times. Then why you want to talk about 2013? Where is one? I would say, I would say, where is 2 lakh 24,000 I would say, I would say, Mr. The Surya, moment I say this, he says, don't bring numbers. No, no, no. I would say, you go back to 1951, Karnataka must have received 200 crores. See, there's an inflation, there's a rise in resources Even every with year. with respect to the recommendations year, of the Finance Commission, year, the, all states, every, irrespective of whether I'm it is sorry, Karnataka or Tamil Nadu, every no, state just, has got do you more agree or points not, allocated do under you, the Prime Minister. Do you agree or not that Karnataka's allocation has gone down by 1% after the recent Finance Commission report or not? Do you agree Sir, or not? No. All states have... All states have Okay, every state of has got so more funds. In in the it means more you're, funds you're, you're sadly in badly informed. In every the, state in, across the country. In the few minutes that we have left, I want to talk about how the Congress mischievously spun the Nandini issue to make it seem as if they were doing something wrong. Now the fact is that Nandini products sell at lower prices than Amul. Secondly, it's a free country. Any Amul decided to come here. It's not like the BJP decided to send Amul into Karnataka. And Amul came first under your government, in Mr. Siddharamaya, in 2017. 
Yet you somehow tried to whip this up into a matter of Kannada pride. It was Purely not for us. It was game. the people of Karnataka. Don't blame the Congress for everything. <laughs> it was the so you Kannada the people, fire. the cooperative sector, the cooperative movement which whipped it up. And we responded to that. You fueled and the fire. It, it was started by Mr. Amit Shah. Because he was the one who come and said that Amul and Nandini should work together. One, one more... One so more fake this, narrative this came, or manufactured this originated country, from there. Just like this whole devolution And then suddenly they come and issue. say that the, the, uh, the, uh, that we should introduce Amul products over here. No, but this so idea, no, ordinarily, it started from there, right? cooperatives and farmers and was, are a very touchy it electoral was a issue. It's a very touchy electoral, no, issue. Very touchy electoral issue. issue. Would you accept that instead of doing this on the 14th of April, if even if this had to be done, I fully accept the fact that every cooperative should be allowed to go everywhere, including Nandini going to UP. So I'm philosophically opposed to what's being done. But timing is of prime importance and your timing in this instance was wrong even if you had to do it could have been done after the election rather than do what? allow for amul announced Who allowed? amul to it come it was allowed in, in 2017 no, they wanted to expand no, but they made it into a big issue they and put issues. the bjp on the defensive they, they create issues they manufacture issues that's the, the it was not done by us uh, mr surya it was done by rahul the my point is mr dinesh 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 the kmf mr. was the one who picked up the issue first when we responded to that sidramaiah was the chief minister for full five years, the amount of profits that KMF made versus the profits that KMF is making today. KMF is much better financially. The product basket of KMF and Nandini is higher no, today. Sir. No, no. My charge rather is that the Congress party neglected Nandini when they were in power. I'm sorry, you know, you just said something the, for the if, sake of if saying. To, Mr. KMF has been built up by the Congress government's previous why, right? why is it that without the Congress, Congress there was no KMF, KMF also? The KMF, why is it that the KMF so, is financially better during our government? No, but they, why if, weren't they no, but they just well? I, I, I just why was it the case? If the I have the KMF has been doing well even since then. Even since then, KMF has been have just been doing well. If the BJP, if the whole cooperative had been for the wrong. Then why has that decision been put on hold for the time being? No, no, Rahul, one second. If you hadn't done anything wrong and you're sticking to your conviction, you should have allowed them to come. Why has the Rahul, decision been put on hold? Rahul, it's the matter of decision of the cooperatives and KMF. My question is, just on the threshold of election, the Congress party from nowhere decides to oppose Nandini, oppose Amul. But they don't have a problem with other milk brands from say Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala? You think people of Karnataka do not see through this double? Uh, no, and Nandini logic? goes to Telangana, goes to Tamil Nadu. What you are doing is very wrong. No, no, also, you know this whole was, idea. No, no, we had D K Shivkumar here, and he said, "I will not have any other milk apart from Nandini." If everybody starts saying like this, then then tomorrow K Chandrasekhar Rao will, will say the same. We will not allow the Nandini cooperative uh, movement, the KMF, to be weakened. You cannot but bring they never strengthened it when they were in government. We have strengthened so what's it. What's my point? We have strengthened the, it. The, the, we have strengthened it all. Bro, what if Stalin you? says I won't have Nandini milk? Of course, Chandrasekhar Rao says he won't have then. Our corporate, see, as it is the milk. Why do you hate the Nandini the, brand? As so it is the milk corporate is doing very not, well. Why did you not strengthen the Nandini brand? He is just misleading the house as usual. KMF has been doing well since time immemorial. He says it's misleading. What numbers? Sir. What numbers? Show me the numbers. Let me take a minute. No, you, you no, 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 no. I, the moment now. I say numbers, you, you go back. No, I'm just saying. KMF, KMF did not make as much profits as it is making it today. Was it making a profit or not? Absolutely, it yeah, was so, making, but so the quantum KMF, of profit is KMF more. Is not a government the, the, uh, the quantum of profit is KMF more today under our government. The basket of KMF offerings is more is under our government. The revenue has increased under our government. So why is it that you neglected the government company? KMF is not a government company. It's a cooperative movement. So if they're making more profit, good for them. It is not but the love for Nandini. Okay. Okay. It is the okay. hatred for Gujarat Samul. You we hate know. Gujarat because Amul we want comes our, from Gujarat. our brands to be protected. This isn't love for Nandini. And, and it was the no, whole but Nandini issue. BRS says the same thing. DMK says the same thing. The whole Nandini issue You're not is based question. on strengthening our today. own cooperative movement. Amul is fi That's it. Nandini is finding so don't weaken to our cooperative sales in movement. Kerala. And Don't. as Kerala's MP, will Rahul now disqualify the MP? These are the two biggest Will uh, Rahul Gandhi After make Amor intervention in Kerala on Nandini. behalf of Nandini if the Nandini. Congress party loves Nandini so much? Nandini is go, goes all, all across India. No, but what if Amor they also go, goes move. all across India? What if they but start don't pushing back? The, don't Rahul merge these cooperatives. Rahul, don't as merge these cooperatives. The Kerala cooperatives. Don't allow Amul to take over Nandini. Opposing the Nandini will remain Nandini in Kerala, which was not the matter before they. Brought so this that's a big issue. problem. We are saying it's a big problem for Nandini. Merge 
Will Rahul Gandhi, Gandhi now disqualified MP from Kerala? Kerala. Nandini came sold in Kerala are also. Opposing. People are opposing Nandini in Kerala. See, that's for the. It started after you started this issue. Uh, Ask Mr. Rahul Gandhi to intervene and show his love for Nandini in real action. No, no, Nandini is being sold across the country. Why only Kerala? It's being sold across the country, like Amul. But don't you know, merge the I, I, cooperators. A lot of people who have the, uh, come from Amul elsewhere the, uh, were Nandini generally saying that it doesn't feel like there's an election and only two weeks are to go. Uh, it wasn't really just picking up the campaign so far. What at least Mr. Gundurao and Tejasvi have done is they've kind of given us some fireworks, uh, giving a sense that yes, there is a pitch battle and that uh, polling day is actually near. May the best man and woman win. May the best cooperative win. And thank you, Rahul. Thanks thank you very much. Uh, wishes. So, he is taking congratulations. <laughs> That's the arrogance. That will be. Uh, Tenth will, uh, will show confidence the is result. misinterpreted as arrogance because if that's the only attitude that he is used to of, winning, you are used to losing recently. No, see, we are, we are confident of winning, we will do well, and I think Karnataka will, will be a trendsetter for the next parliament election. And by winning Karnataka, I think there is going to be a lot of changes in the national political scenario because people are suffering under this regime, and people ultimately in democracy, it's the people's voice which will count. And I think this election will express. What people are fearing in the. Uh, Would in you the at Nata. least concede, Tejasvi, that if the Congress wins, they will be able to say Tiger Abhi Zinda, like the grand old party is still alive, it's not dead. Like there is no uh, Congress Mukt Bharat happening if they win a big state in a pitched battle with the BJP. 13th May 2023, there will be a full majority BJP government in Karnataka. Rahul. Okay. That will be. Re till now, they have never achieved it. And now, with this huge anti incumbency, I don't know with what confidence he thinks he can achieve it. But. Anti incumbency, corruption, recruitment scams, numerous scams. People are fed up. The alternate, and people of Karnataka this time, I feel, wants a stable government. And they're going to vote overwhelmingly towards Congress, and we will come with 140 plus seats, and that will be the result that we are expecting. They don't have strong candidates in at least 100 seats. Forget coming 140. I mean, this is the arrogance I mean, which uh, I earlier I expressed. If you are losing 100 seats, then there is no election okay. now. We so, we we'll leave, we'll leave the verdict I mean, to the voters. Only people are so Kandar. arrogant, I think. We don't have candidates in 100 seats, then what are we fighting then? So, let's not, of May, we will so okay. let's not we will talk know about uh, Actually, you no don't candidates. need to wait till the 13th of May because in the 10th of May, India today will put out its exit poll. That's usually an exact poll. And that is when you will actually find out how Karnataka voted. But thank you very much, Tejasvi and Dinesh Gundurao for joining us. All the very best. Thank you, Rao. Thank you.